If you are familiar with Photoshop, you may have heard about resolution. So let me zoom in. Notice this image is made up of pixels or square tiles of color forming an image. Resolution also applies in Fusion 360 form. That aspect is also the same in Fusion 360 in form. This time, our resolution is represented by faces. So notice this form, specifically a cube, has six faces or pixels. And in this form, our faces are polygons, specifically quads or quadrilateral. In addition, faces can be triangles as well. There are many ways to add the resolution to this form. One way is I can create a window selection to select all faces. Next, I'm going to right click and subdivide this. Notice we have added new faces. I'm going to hit cancel. Moving forward, this cube is not actually a, a cube, but is a sphere. In Fusion 360, form can be displayed in three modes. So let me head up to Utilities, selecting Display Mode. And for that T-spline entity, I'm going to create a window selection. First mode is a box display having a keyboard shortcut of Alt-1. The second mode shows us the control frame. And finally, smooth display. I'm going to hit cancel. And let's utilize the keyboard shortcuts. Alt-1 for box mode. Alt-2 shows the control frame and Alt-3 giving us the resulting form. Let me head over to a front view. Let me change our display mode to control frame. I'm going to hit Alt-2. Notice the distance of this point to this point results this curved surface. This means if we would like to have a cube, we need to insert additional edge on all corners. Notice in this cube, I have added additional edges. And the resulting form is now more of a cube than a sphere. Showing you a before and after. Notice the resulting effect if edges or vertices are more closer to each other. So if we want more crease, I'm going to have this edges and vertices nearer to this point. With these concepts in mind, in the next video, let's create a simple character utilizing the form tools in Fusion 360.